Hey YouTube, JC here, smoking my new Boswell's pipe. It's hard to tell with the light in here. Smoking inside in the garage, light's not the greatest in here um, because it's raining outside. Winter's kind of finally here already. Um, it's going to be in the 20s pretty much every night for the next 10 days or so. So luckily right now, we're just getting a little bit of rain in. Well, a lot of rain actually, because it's in the 40s now, so no snow. But I've seen in other parts of the country where a bunch of you guys have posted where you were getting snow already. Normally here in Virginia, we get our good bit of, or, you know, decent amount of snow in January and February, sometimes December, but hardly ever get it, you know, this early, but it's going for chances of flurries next week, so we'll see what happens. Loving the way this pipe's smoking, by the way. This thing is massive, if you can't tell, you know what I mean? It's just a massive pipe, but it's smoking great. Um, I did a light pack on this. I packed it about, you know, three quarters. I kind of just fluffed it and then just packed it down a little bit to where it was just three quarters full, because uh, even three quarters full, I'll still get easy, you know, 45, 50 minutes out of it. Smoking English today, and that's what I'm reviewing. Rattray's Highland Targe. Um, seems to be a pretty good blend. Um, a couple of people commented they wanted me to review it because they haven't had it. And this, I don't think this, I don't know if this is one of their popular ones or not, but I guess there's not that many reviews on it. Um, it says it's a mixture of bright Virginia tobaccos, black Cavendish Oriental, and spicy Latakia. I don't know how spicy the Latakia is. Um, when you open the tin, you get basic, ma mainly a lot of Kia smell. You know, you might smell a little bit of the Orientals in there too, but um, it's not a real, real Oriental heavy, heavy blend, in my opinion. Um, the Cavendish, you can definitely tell is in this one because it gives a nice amount of sweetness um, to it. But, you know, I feel like it's a really smooth, milder English, in my opinion. Um, like most of these English ribbon cuts, I tend to smoke them pretty quick. Um, but this one doesn't really burn that hot. You can tell it's maybe not as cool as some of the other ones, but it's not bad. It's not giving me tongue bite or anything like that, but I can tell it's, you know, it can maybe burn hotter if you took on it too much. Probably because the Cavendish is in there. But yeah, the, uh, like I said, the Orientals are just there. In my opinion, you get a little bit of the a little bit of the spice and sourness kind of from them, but it seems to be a pretty sweet English blend to me, in my opinion. It's on the sweetness scale, I'd say it's, it's uh, as far as compared to some Englishes, it's definitely up there. It's, it's over medium sweetness to me, probably a 6 out of 10. You get just a touch of that spice from the Orientals, not a whole lot, maybe two or three. Um, and the Virginia's in it. Most of the Virginias, in my opinion, you don't get a lot of Virginia flavor. Maybe a little bit of the sweetness and hay like quality is coming out, but, you know, the lot of Kia and all that kind of, you know, overtakes all that. But a lot of Kia isn't real heavy in this. It's not real heavy. I just see on the back, it's pretty much got the same thing written underneath, I think. Yeah, sometimes they put a little bit different description on the tin, but not a whole lot on it. Just what it says there. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. Put this pipe down this is a massive pipe I, I i tried clenching it earlier and i can clench it but i really don't want to because i don't want to mess the stem up on it or, or risk dropping it but here i'll put some of this in that way you guys can see a little better there we go so yeah it's got i mean looking at it it looks like it's got a lot more a lot of key in it than it tastes like it doesn't taste that heavy in a lot of key it tastes you know Honestly, more like a, like a Scottish style, you know, blend per se. It is nice to have one of these letters around when you have one of these real deep, big bowls too. That and I notice when it's cold outside, it's kind of a pain to, you know, lighter. Sometimes they don't light as good, but keep it in your pocket, it's good. This works really well too because it's got that little angle on it. But uh, but yeah, like I said, the 
the light in here isn't as great as it is outside because it's raining outside right now, but, and this bulb is just beautiful to me. It's, it's smoking fantastic too. I'm really glad I made this purchase. And Boswell's pipes, honestly, um, and don't get me wrong, you know, there are pipes that are a lot more expensive than that, that, you know, you can kind of tell that they're like, I don't know if you can call them premium or what, but uh, what I'm getting at for this, not to downplay these at all, but for the money, for what you're getting, I mean, it's just great quality and finish. I mean, it's just seamless finish on this thing. And you can spin this around and it stays perfectly true. So it's not like, you know, y'all seen them before where they're a little oblonged or whatever, but um, the color he used on this and the stain is just magnificent in my opinion. It's kind of like a darker walnut type of vibe to it. I don't know. The, the pipes that he had there, I mean, you, and you could tell people were buying them like hotcakes because I think everybody that went bought a pipe that day. Um, I don't know. For handmade pipes, in my opinion, and I haven't seen them in person really up close. Um, I've got buddies that got that have them, but seeing the way he makes stuff and his pipes and stuff, for the money, they're, they're really good quality for what you're getting. And I'll probably buy another one, to be honest with you, next trip I make. I mean, if I see one I like, if I didn't see one I wasn't going to like, I wouldn't have got it. And I already have enough. Now, if there was another Canadian, I might have got that. But he said they didn't have any Canadians at the time. They already sold out. But I was looking for another English pipe because I only have two pipes I use for English smoking. And I wanted another larger, big, big bowl pipe. So anyways, enough about the pipe, though. But the tobacco doesn't seem to have a lot of strength to it. I'm token on it pretty, uh, pretty good and not really getting any strength out of it. So as far as the nicotine scale, it's definitely way down there, which is a good thing for me. I don't like a lot of nicotine. Um, body, it's under medium for body. Um, it's a little airy. It's not as thick as some Englishes. A lot of that has to probably do with the Cavendish that's in it. But if you like a, a milder, sweeter English, this is definitely for you. Not a lot of spice in this. It does have a little bit of spice, but not a lot. Um, the Latakia is just there. Um, you get a you get it more at, at first light in the first you know quarter of the bowl. Um, I mean it is there all the time, but it's not like the the overwhelming factor of some Englishes. It's definitely got some complexity to it, but I would say the sweetness is definitely over top of everything for sure. But um, I mean it's a good blend. I'm not sure how this is going to age because it's kind of milder already. So this is probably one that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't age it any more than three or four years, in my opinion. Probably two for peak. Um, but uh, this one, well, let's see. This one was 10 and 121, if you look at the date stamp. So it's already got, uh, you know, over a year on it or whatever. But and it's smoking good now, and it tastes good. So, yeah. It is one thing about these bowls, these larger bowls, instead of getting, like, 15 to 20 bowls out of a smaller pipe, you're maybe getting 10 bowls <laughs> out of a pipe like this on a 50 gram 10 anyways. This is a 100 gram 10. So, you know, everybody's different too, depending on how much you want to pack that day or how, how you know, heavy you want to pack the bowl per se. But yeah, I'm, I, I just, you know, I guess I'm still talking about the pipe, but I'm, I'm blown away by how good this thing smokes. And like I said, it's, you know, I'm not a huge, huge English fan. This is definitely something I can smoke. Um, when I'm in the mood for Englishes anyways, um, it's not up there with my favorites. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, oh, and a couple of people were asking me, how does it compare to Red Rappery? I'm going to do a review of Red Rappery here coming up. But I would say this is milder by far than Red Rappery. Um, Red Rappery is a lot richer, more smokiness to it, but this one's a lot sweeter. So if you like a sweeter, milder English, this is definitely for you versus the Red Rappery. But um, it's very smooth, and some Virginias, or maybe Virginias, some Englishes to me, they give me real, real bad, like cotton mouth. Like they just dry my mouth out. They suck the moisture right out of my mouth. Um, this one isn't as bad. Um, and that's the reason I don't like a lot of Englishes, and that's why I like GLP Englishes, because GLP seems to make pretty much the only Englishes that don't do that. Um, the uh, Squadron Leader doesn't do it either. 
so that's I think Squadron Leader is kind of the only um, English 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 made English that I found so far that doesn't do that to me. And the German Englishes, you know, I can kind of give you know leave them or take them kind of. Um, but like I said, you know, for for what you pay for this, it's not that expensive compared to some of the other ones for some reason. The Retrace blends, or maybe that was just where I bought it at the time. But um, for what you pay for a hundred gram tin of this, I think it's pretty good. But anyways, I think I've rambled on long enough about the uh, tobacco in the pipe. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and listen to the rain come down a little bit. All right, we'll chat with you guys later. Let me know if you've had this one.